A cause of death has been released for Kelly Pickler's husband, Kyle Jacobs. A spokesperson for the Davidson County Medical Examiner confirms to E! News that Kyle died by suicide on February 17th. He was 49 years old. According to an autopsy report obtained by Taste of Country, toxicology results showed that Jacobs did not have any drugs in his system at the time of his death, though he did have a history of, quote, pseudo seizures, gastrointestinal bleeding, elevated liver enzymes, and chronic alcohol use. Officers from the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department were called to Pickler's Tennessee home on February 17th after the American Idol alum couldn't find her husband when she woke up. In a statement to E! News at the time, the department said Pickler and her assistant dialed 911 after they were unable to open a door to an upstairs room during their search for Jacobs. Pickler and the songwriter tied the knot in a private Caribbean wedding in 2011. The Nashville-based couple chronicled their life on the CMT reality show, I Love Kelly Pickler, which ran from 2015 to 2017. Kyle is by far my greatest treasure. I'd be absolutely lost without him. In a 2017 interview with Yahoo's Build series, Kyle talked about the show and how the couple made sure to be as authentic as possible for viewers. He said at the time, we just do everything we can just to be real. We love laughing through life. We love to do that. And that's what the show is. Our show is love and laughter. While Pickler has not spoken publicly about her husband's death, fellow country stars paid tribute to Jacobs in the wake of his passing. Lee Bryce, who collaborated with Kyle on his song Save the Roses, posted a heartfelt message about Kelly's late husband on Instagram. He said in the February 22nd post, he was without a doubt one of the best people anyone could ever hope to have in their corner. I am eternally grateful for having him in mine. I'll keep Kelly, his family, and everyone who was touched by him close to my heart. If you or someone you know needs help, call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988 or visit 988lifeline.org.